First, a heartbreaking story. A Lithonia mother and wife killed in a house fire. The Cab County Fire says this all started in the garage. Atlanta News First reporter Asia Wilson talked with friends and family today. And Asia, what are they saying about this tragedy? Well, Alan, Erica's childhood friend and her husband uh, spoke with me today, and they said that she he showed so much strength, and now that husband is left to raise their three children alone, but the community is rallying around them. It was definitely true mom, wife, you know, like center of the home. DeKalb County fire officials found Erica Rush dead in her garage last Wednesday. Definitely heartbreaking to hear, you know, the loss of my wife in that situation. Jonathan Rush is Erica's husband. He wasn't home. It's tough in a lot of ways. Investigators say others were in the home when the fire started. Rush says that includes their three children and Erica's brother. They survived. It's not the first time this family faced tragedy. Just lost my mom a couple years before. Um, I lost my mom um, th that May, um, May, of, May of last year. And then she had just lost her dad to kidney failure. Um, in December. So, you know, honestly, it's just been a lot for the family in general, a lot for the kids. Rush says they've lost nearly everything because of the fire. Pretty much a total loss. No clothes, toys, you know, personal photos. It's the reason why LaShawn Knox Brown, a childhood friend of Erica, started a GoFundMe page. As a godfather and, you know, childhood friend, I really wanted to make sure that uh, her family and friends really rallied around the kids. Knox Brown says any donations will help with necessities and funeral expenses. We didn't have life insurance. Um, every so everything pretty much has been out of pocket. We didn't have burial. As Jonathan says, the community has shown great support during this dark time. Definitely been thankful for that. He now wants the world to remember the light his wife carried. Touch the spirits of a lot of people that she would interact with. Really just want her to be remembered as, you know, the beautiful woman she was. Now, the childhood friend says the goal is to raise $20,000 for the family. They already reached over $7,000 as the cause of the fire. The officials say it still remains undetermined. All right, Asia, thank you so much.